Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Rob Waltz from Peak International Education Center. Peak is the training partner for the electronic industry. Peak provides a worldwide customized training program in design, production, assembly, repair and rework, but also box building. Furthermore, we also provide all the IPC certifications. More information you find on our homepage. So this part is about uh, Edge 2.0 group registration online and offline exam. So uh, I will show you how to do that. So the first thing we do is uh, go to the homepage ipc.org. Then you go to knowledge certification certification portal then to the edge 2.0 and then you are in the certification portal now you have to log in so when you are a certified trainer you can log in to this system because you get an uh, email with a login code so you have access to this uh, ipc certification portal 2.0 so i will log in with my name okay log in log in why i'm not log in i'm log in okay ready so now you see i'm uh, logged in as uh, rob walls at peakiec.eu so now I can create a training class. So the first thing what we will do is uh, this part, edit class. Okay. So now I say enter class. So you see this uh, working. Sometimes it takes a while, but that's uh, caused by the speed of the internet or caused by the, you know, the traffic on the site. So what we see here, we see the class details. I have to fill in everything. So you see my name, then I select the program. So I'm a master trainer for all the IPC certification for trainer for specialists. So I will you know, choose specialist. Then all the courses I will check, uh, I will choose 610, the language we will choose English and then we will choose the revision, G vision, G revision and we will choose online exam. So for the online exam is of course the best way to certify the people because it's much easier for the trainer and it's also uh, cheaper. So what we will do is we will schedule the class. So we will start today, we will finish tomorrow. And then this uh, initial certification is not a retest. Retest is only when the student fails for the exam, they have to perform the retest. So we will choose initial. Then you have to select the credits. So I explained already in the previous uh, video that you have to purchase credits. So we see there are some credits available. The credits are uh, valid for one year. So the next thing is add money to the system. So now you see there is enough money to certify the students. So now I'm ready. So you see the class SIS, 6 and English G version, all the modules. So when you want to choose specific modules, you can do that in the trainer management system. That changed in the previous system. You could do it in this area, but now you have to do it in the trainer management system of the Edge 2.0. So we are ready. So we say add. So now the group is created in the IPC Edge 2.0 system. So it will take a while, so it is ready. Yeah. So now you see you can 
check it. Trainer name, specialist six down English, G version, all the modules, it's online. Today and tomorrow, initial certification and you see the price. So the price is uh, between 50 and uh, 100 dollars depending on the uh, type of certification, specialist, trainer and the amount of modules which you choose. So here we have now the class created and now we enroll students. So there are two ways to enroll the student. One is with the email address and the other one is with uh, yeah, the student name. So uh, what we will do is I will show you both. I will show you first how you can enroll the student with uh, the email address and after that I will show you how you, how you can enroll a student with the name. So we have an uh, email address available, not my email address of course. So I will put an email address here in this area and then I say enroll. So uh, you see the amount of students is 15, 15 because this is a uh, theoretical course, there is no hands-on, for the hands-on training classes maximum is 12 and for the theoretical uh, training classes 15. So now I will add the students and you will see and that it is enrolled. So you see the student is now successfully added to the class. So that's the easiest way. Also when the student is not uh, registered in the system, it's always a good idea to check first with the email if the email address is already used because you can only use an email address once. You cannot use it several times for several students. It can also not be a fake email address because now this student gets automatically an email with an, uh, let's say, an uh, an introduction and an enrollment confirmation that he is enrolled for the IPC A6 and specialist training class English and the G version and that he get a password to get uh, access to the student management system. So now I go back, I go to return class details and in the class details you will see the class 6 and says my name G all the modules today tomorrow and the price and here we see the student you can also change it so you can also say added class you can change it and whatever the dates the schedule you can change everything until now it doesn't cost anything until now it is everything for free you have to pay when they perform the exam so what I will do now I will delete the attendee okay and now I will enroll a student by name so I go to uh, find student and I say okay the name is uh, this one I know he's searching there is no name in the system available so what we say is we say add new student so this is uh, the area for the student name and all the other uh, data for the exam and for the system. So mandatory is the name, the first name, the last name and the email. So we are now in the path for the online exam and for the online exam it's only mandatory to fill in the first name, last name, email address and the rest the student have to fill in by themselves in the student management system when they are logged in, in the system it is mandatory to fill in all the uh, information they ask in the student management system so now i add somebody by name so now i go back and now i see here in the class I see my class and I see that's online now I can also change it in this area to offline so what I do is I say add a class 
Okay, you see the class. And now I can change it in online print. Very easy, so when there is no access to the internet or when it's not possible, there is no internet available because it is uh, not possible in the in-company training class or whatever, you say online print. So you can change it, you say online print and save. Okay. And now you see I have my training class changed my name, Specialist 610 English, the G version, all the modules, the schedule, and also the price. You see, now it is an uh, online print, and online print is uh, expensive than the online exam. Now you can also enroll the student by email or by name. So I will do it, yeah, enroll student, I will show it again. So you can do it by email, like this you will see that uh, he's already in the system. I know we get an error. One second, so I go back and I will show you how to add a student with his name. Yeah, you put the name there and then you say search. So there's no name available. So we say add new student. And now you will see that in this uh, student contact area you have to fill in everything so the trainer have to fill all the information the first name the last name company name location address city and then the country email and also confirmation of the email so that's a little bit uh, yeah not the same as when you do the online exam so online print is a little bit more work Okay, in the next uh, film we will cover the uh, trainer management system, the trainer management system for the online exam and we will also cover the trainer management system for the offline exam. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumb up. If you have any questions, complaints or comments, put them below. Please subscribe for more videos, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by PEAK, your knowledge provider for the electronics industry. Training and certification for PCB design, PCB manufacture, PCB assembly, PCB repair and rework, and cable and cabling techniques.